Right. Hello, everyone. Um, happy Monday. Welcome to our every Monday product mm -hmm. Zoom, or um, it will change eventually to maybe health conditions and stuff. But today, sure. today we are highlighting our men's and women's multivitamin. So most of us assume, as we should, that we are getting all the nutrients that we need from our diet, right? I mean, we would think we eat healthy foods, we're eating our fruits and vegetables and our meats and all that stuff. But the problem is we're not getting the amount, right amount of nutrients from our food anymore, okay? In a perfect world, yes, but this is by far a perfect world. <clears throat> so what's going on? Why are we not getting these nutrients? First of all, our soil is depleted from um, nutrients. And what grows in our soil is the food that we eat. Um, even if, uh, just an example, even if it's a, we're eating a, ha a hamburger and the, the cow is also eating the nutrients in depleted soils. Um, so uh, just all in all, our food is not as, as nutritious as it once was. But there's also things that further deplete our bodies from nutrients. Okay, this is um, toxins. We live in a very toxic world. And no matter how much we work to control uh, our toxic exposure, it's impossible to um, get away from it all unless we were living in a bubble, which we're not. So we have a toxic exposure. We have stress. Um, we have lack of sleep. Um, unfortunately, it, that we most of us do have a poor diet. You know, it's well, the sad diet, it's the standard American diet, okay? A lot of us are, are consuming the foods that we should not eat. All of this stuff further depletes our bodies from its nutrients. So we're not getting it from our food and then we have things that further, further depleting it. And these nutrients that I'm talking about are actually, most of them are essential vitamins. Like, what does that mean? It means we need to get them from our diet. So if we're not getting them from our diet or if our body is being further depleted from it, from external factors, I mean, we are, are deficient in nutrients that our body needs every single day. And insert our men's and women's multivitamin, right? Yep. So again, like I just said, we have a men's and a women's and Ryan is here to start off telling you why men's and women's, what makes them different yep. from each other. Yeah, good solid intro, Lisa. Uh, yeah, I agree. Nine, like they say 92% of people are deficient in at least one vitamin or mineral. Nine, nine out of 10 people have some deficiency, right? But when we looked at multivitamins, we said, oh, geez, there's opinions are varied. There's a lot of opinions on how to and what to put into a multivitamin to get the most out of it. Uh -huh. And so, you know, after doing a significant amount of research and trying to settle on what we fit, what, how we thought of what a multivitamin should provide, we did decide to go with a men's and a women's. The women's version is, there's some slight differences. We'll get into some of those. Um, but the high level, the women's version has an iron um, has iron, has a cranberry extract for urinary tract health because we know female um, females tend to have a higher incidence of urinary tract infections. Um, and then we also increase the amount of folate and we'll get into the folate and the B vitamins here in just a minute. That's, those are the main, oh, I'm sorry, the men also, <laughs> the men's <laughs> version has lycopene, um, which has been shown to be very beneficial for prostate health. It's a, a potent antioxidant, very, very beneficial for prostate health. Yeah, awesome. those are the main differences. Okay, and uh, there are a few very important key factors that make our multivitamin unique. Yeah, go ahead and talk about those. Yeah, all right. Well, that's a long. So you'll just have to cut me off and interrupt me as you as you feel fit. Or if it gets too scientific. You, well, that that can probably happen <laughs> here with B vitamins, of course. But really, at the end of the day, I mean, nutrient deficiencies are a huge problem in society. You're seeing skin disorders. You're seeing definitely immune dysfunction. Um, vision, we're having vision problems, vision loss at an unprecedented level. We're having un, unwanted, un, unexpected weight gain, uh, more cancerous, more diabetes, more blood pressure. I mean, there's a lot of stuff and guess what it all ties back to is it really does tie back to nutrient deficiencies, um, and inflammation, but you know, you'll see in here today that even just talking about B vitamins, the role it plays in coding for protein, coding for uh, genes and, and DNA and like the, literally the, the central dogma of life, the essence of life. So that was very, it's, it's, it's a very important topic. People think of multivitamins as boring and, uh, you know, and, and the old school thought was that, you know, actually food would provide everything you needed. And it's just not true anymore. Uh, leading, leading author, authorities in the preventive health space are all now recommending multivitamins. Whereas years ago, many, many providers would just be like, no, they would wash, they would say it's, you know, expensive urine. You just body just flushes it out. It's really not the case. That's really not the case at all. So we were very intentional with our multivitamin design. We were very purposeful. 
And so I'm going to talk about some of the things that we left out first, unless you, you know, we'll, st we'll start with why we left some things out. You'll notice there is no calcium in our multivitamins, starting with calcium, uh, you know, and same with some of the other things like we left out calcium, left out magnesium, left out vitamin D. Um, these are intentional. A, they can interfere with one another. They can compete for uh, the transport system across the intestines and the stomach. B, they can chelate together, they can bind together and prevent absorption. Um, and also really there's, there's, if you're taking calcium or if you're really looking to take magnesium and vitamin D, there should be intention. You should be taking those with intention. You should have a goal. You should know what, what salt form you're taking and why and for how long and how much. And you just lack control when it's in a multivitamin. You lack control of dose. You lack control of timing. And you lack control of, say, like I said, the type of uh, vitamin or mineral that we that we're talking about here so and it's true too like say say vitamin d was put in here mm -hmm. or or in other multis you see it in other multis it's just like a, a sprinkling of it it's actually Sometimes. not an, enough um right well some no i've seen some you're right for the most part yes but i have seen some multis that do put enough vitamin d in there but as i would still say that they're they're knocking something else out right it, can't, right. Can't fit it all. Yeah. Can't fit it all in. Um, and again, you'd want to be able to move that vitamin D dose based on blood work or based how you're feeling right. or whatever it might be. And you just, you just lack that control in a multivitamin. Okay. So, all right. So the way we looked at this is like, of course, like Lisa said, we want to put the essentials. So you got a lot of essential vitamins in here. We obviously have the B complex. We highlight the B complex, B complex, because Lisa and I both take, B, had taken B vitamins separately paid a lot of money just to get a, a healthy, good B complex. But we incorporated that in here because again, it's essential. And we're, we're seeing that many, many people are not getting enough of it uh, out of their out of their diet. And that's where you would typically get it because it's essential. Remember, the body does not make B vitamins. So there is a couple of scientific things we need to talk about though, to really understand why we chose the types of B vitamins that we did. Sometimes you'll hear me use the word methylation. That's a big one. Bioavailability, that's another big one. So we'll start with the folate. So, because there's a lot of questions that always come in. Why this form of folate? Why is it natural folate? Is it synthetic folate? You know, and people get real lost in the terms and use, whether it's folate, folic acid, or methylated folate, that whole thing. So just know this, okay? Folate is such an important B vitamin. It is so, so important for every system in the body. And it's because it, it but, but when, when it's consumed, when it's ingested, it gets, has to go absorb and get converted into a different form of folate. So folate that is ingested is not active. It's not bioavailable. It's not bioactive. It has to be absorbed and it has to be changed and methylated into a, a different form. And, what, and then once that happens, that form then provides the body with everything else it needs to carry out its normal function. So why is that important? So we chose to go with a branded B vitamin. You'll, hear, you'll see it on the label called uh, folate. It's called quatrifolic. Now that means that it's the most, it's the bioactive form of folate. That allows the body to use it immediately and not have to go through that, that, that intermediary step. That intermediary step is coded by a gene called MTHFR. Lisa's eyes probably light up. She, she has the variant um, for the MTHFR gene. So what that means is that people aren't really able to effectively metabolize or change the dietary folate into the bioactive um, form of methylfolate. Right. So if I were to take, if I were to take it, not bioactive, not ready, yep. I probably would not absorb That's right. anything. From so it. if you took a, say, synthetic folic acid or even dietary folate, you could have a lot of trouble methylating, getting that form to methylated form, getting it to the bioactive form of right. folate. And folate, like we said, it plays such a significant role in all body systems. Folate is considered, it would be like a methyl donor. So now we start talking about methylation. And methylation is the, 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 the process of helping the body carry out its normal function. It's heavy duty involved in detoxification, right? Methylation is really, really important in detoxification, say, of heavy metals. Um, it's important in energy metabolism. It's important in, in gene coding. It's important in DNA synthesis. And it's a really important process for, for every aspect of the body and general health. So not being able to have that methylated or bioactive form of folate would mean that you're now deficient in a lot of different areas and things can really start to happen that are not in, not in a good way, right? Um, and that's why you'll hear me refer to as our folate as methylated as well as our B12. So our B12 is methylcobalamin. 
So there is the methylation sort of discussion and how that plays a role in the bioavailability and what the body's able to use. And B vitamins, I'm sure most of you know, but we always think if you're low in energy, you know, oh, I need to be I need a B12 supplement, yep. right? So again, that is provided for you in here. So the B vitamins really help with energy, mm -hmm. which is also another reason why we recommend taking your um, your multivitamin at the earlier part of the day, right? Oh, sure. Just, just so it doesn't affect our sleep. Yeah, I, I know, absolutely, uh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, look, in B, B12, my, my, my father had bad peripheral neuropathy. It could have been related to a um, deficient anemia, probably. But B12 deficiency is becoming more and more common too. We've seen a lot of this, uh, a lot of alcohol abuse, um, uh, poor diet, sedentary lifestyle. Uh, of course, if you don't, if you have the MTHFR gene variant, which by the way, they estimate about 60% of us have a variant. I know 25% of Hispanics have documented, probably 15% of Caucasians documented, but most people don't go out and get a genetic test. Um, we did, she did have it. She's positive for that variant, but ultimately it just means you need to be more aware of your, your dietary folate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I went through B vitamins. Yeah. Um, what's another big one with this pretty little flower? No, here? sure. Yeah, sure. So what else did we do? Um, we added a marigold extract. So this is actually the marigold flower that we have grown outside. The marigold, what gives it the color, the bright colors, the oranges and yellows and all that is, is the pigments, the lutein and the zeaxanthine. Um, the lutein and zeaxanthine are the pigments of the marigold flower, but they're also pigments in the back of our, our retina. Okay. And they absorb blue light as their primary function. And they've now been studied and shown to assist and to prevent age-related macular degeneration. I think there's a positive effect in glaucoma and other vision-related diseases. And there, was, there was more, too, um, with the lutein and zeaxanthin. Um, I just came across a study, a study on this, and it was, uh, you know, lutein is also found in the brain. Hitting of it's important for cognitive function. Oh, sure, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So now we have to think of a lot of that. It's, like, it's not just the eyes, but like cognitive function. Um, okay, we got that. I'd say it's a funny thing because it's absorbing blue light. I mean, look at over the last thirty years, twenty-five. Really, we've been spending so much more time on phones and computers and sitting in front of bright lights and working indoors. So. The blue light has been a really a huge um, contributing factor to our, say, vision strain and vision loss. Sure. For sure. And another thing with vision is, you know, diabetic retinopathy, right? Mm -hmm. People, mm -hmm. uh, if you have diabetes, you, know, you tend to have the difficult uh, yep. issues with your eyes, which can also help. Um, and it was also this study that said, <clears throat> if you have dementia, you're, you're more than likely deficient in lutein, which crosses the blood brain barrier and has a protective anti-inflammatory effect. Okay. I mean, I know, um, I, I actually have an aunt with, um, dementia and it's, it's a very sad thing. So it's just something you always want to just be aware and cognizant of, like, there's things that you can take to help prevent this. Oh yeah, no doubt. And there's the ARIDS2, ARIDS and ARIDS2 study, A-R-E-D-S. And they conclusively ruled, said that the lutein and zeaxanthine had a beneficial impact on, on those areas specifically related to vision. Right. And I actually get emails um, quite a bit. Do we have something to help with vision? So boom, right here, easy peasy, yes. multivitamin. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So we went through uh, the bees, the marigold extract, yeah. Um, the differences between, so we have, I get emails a lot about the prostate support. Another email question I often get is, um, for postmenopausal women that are told to avoid iron. Hmm. What do you tell them? Well, I always recommend taking the men's multivitamin as it's formulated without iron. Huh. Um, yes, it also has, um, uh, not lutein, well, lycopene. lycopene, thank you for prostate support, but it, it uh, lycopene is also, you know, beneficial for, for anybody. It is. Yeah. So it, it is. It, that's what I always re recommend, um, right now, um, possible in the future, formulating a women's multivitamin, you know, for, you know, postmenopausal women. But as of this point, um, in the game, we are recommending the men's multi for those that cannot have iron. But I assume you tell people that if they've not been told to avoid iron, they don't need to avoid Correct. iron. Correct. Just because right. you're postmenopausal does not mean you have to avoid iron. This typically comes from your doctor based on blood work. Yeah, sure. Iron overload. Sure. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. What else? Other questions? I know we get a lot of Best questions. Best time to take. On. We kind of covered that. 
right? Yeah, sure. Take it in the morning. Another reason why you'll see that I left magnesium out again, not only does it compete for absorption with others, but I, I said, you know, I want to control the dosing, control the salt form, make sure you can take it in the afternoon and the evening. So the multivitamin would be a morning with food. There is enough, enough of the ingredients, like the B vitamins are water soluble, uh, but there are some other things in here that are fat soluble. That's why you'll hear me say, take it with food. It, it can't hurt. It, it can only improve the absorption and just be regular with it. If you do try to take it with food every single day. Um, and that would be more beneficial for you. Right. As well. Also, if you, um, some vitamins tend to make your, your nauseous. Sure. I mean, a lot of times like the B vitamins can do that. So taking them with food uh, really eliminates that um, 100%. Um, our prices too, I mean, $9.95 for members. Oh, wow. $17.95 for non-members. Right. I mean, this is so easy. Again, this is something that we need to take every day. So just under $10 will get you 30 days worth of a multivitamin. There is absolutely no excuse. There is none. Um, this is also, um, if you've looked at our daily essentials pack, this is also part of our daily essentials pack, okay? Because it means we need to, to take these every single day. Did you click on this one? Yeah, go ahead. No, it, you know, it's funny. You bring up the price and I, I never think about it, but it's such an insurance policy. It is, it, it's the way to look at it is just totally like, you know, we insure everything else in our lives. We insure, you know, our cars, our homes, our lives, you know, our lives through life insurance in different aspects. But, you know, it's like when you think about preventive health and think about the backstop and the insurance policy of a multivitamin, it just makes sense, especially at that, at that dollar amount. You know, there's definitely comparable multivitamins on the market are 40, 50, $60, mm -hmm. right? I mean, yeah. that's, that's where we, that's what we were buying before. Correct. Yeah. Um, question on here. When is the multi men's multi? Cause we, at this point, I know this is going to be recorded, so it's always going to be there. But at this point we had ran out of stock of the men's multi, but guys, it's back. So go online, order it today. Yeah, it is it in is. stock. And I just double checked to make sure I wasn't telling lies. It is available to order online already. Yes, 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 it is. Um, any other thoughts I'm trying to like, I have a lot of thoughts on, yes, on of course. Right there's <laughs> of so course. many things to discuss right I just try not to get too long-winded on it because you're at 12 17 right now we always say let's keep this under 15 to 20 minutes um but i just get hooked. i get so like hooked on the b vitamin complex along with the other essentials you're not getting because they're again i they're cofactors in so many important enzymes and and even neurotransmitters and hormones i mean so if you're if you're not getting enough folate uh if you're not getting enough b12 um, we also have, you know, all, the whole B complex, we have biotin for hair, skin, and nails. Um, it's just, I mean, look, it, it, they tell, um, as a prenatal, prenatal, you need to get folate. The CDC has come out as publicly as a public statement says, we're not getting enough folate from our diet. And so it's like, okay. Uh, especially pregnant women, of course, because it can have neural tube defects and has genetic, you know, has actually has, that has been well-documented. So it's like, yeah, the importance, the validation is there. Right. And also, um, if you either are a vegetarian, vegan, oh, or just don't B12. consume much meat, especially red meats, I mean, you are more than likely depleted in your B12. No I mean, you need to work even harder to get those nutrients. Yep. So, yep. B12 is only present in animal foods, yeah. not in plants. Yep. So extremely important. These men's and women's multivitamin, make sure if you haven't been taking it, you get on there, you order yours today. Come on, guys. Get your lutein and zeaxanthine. Check it out. <laughs> All right, guys, any other questions that you um, think of after this, please email me, lisa at livegood.com. Uh, hey, love before helping we out go, with your emails. Before yes. we go to gluten free, soy free, dairy free, common allergen free, non GMO. Yeah, non GMO. They're, 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 well, they're, the capsules are in uh, vegetable caps. Right. Vegetable caps. Yes. No dyes, of course, no unwanted fillers, no added binders or additives and anything of that nature. So, Awesome. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right, guys. Thank you very All much. All right. That's it. Y'all have a great and super productive Monday. Bye.